Oh. And I'm dead. And I believe that jellyfish, the one that killed me, was the jellyfish that was hiding the star coin. Because somewhere in all that darkness, there's a uh, star coin there. And I, I was right, there's no checkpoint in this level, so if you die, you gotta start over. <laughs> it's just, it's just ricocheting on me now. Okay, once more feeling. I'm no going easy on anybody now. Get the fire flower. Flying spikes. Let's go up here, defeat the spikes, and get the star coin again. And this time we'll take the upper path. And throw away our light block. Oh, I don't care, we've got another one here. Dead and dead. Okay, moving on. It's a good thing I'm using a capture card for this, otherwise you'd, you'd find it... If I was using a regular camera, you'd find it very hard to see this level. You know, maybe it's just me, or I think those jellyfish enemies are called Electros or something. Nah, chance like it's just me. Die, da da die. Bloopers are not welcome. Alright, there's the star I was thinking of. And yes, as you know, stars illuminate the area, so let's make the most of this and just run. Or swim. Oh. And yeah, this is a star chain. I completely forgot about that. Actually, let's keep this with us, because maybe the next one will have a star as well, if, we, if we're fast enough. Nope. It does have a fire flower, though, and I'll take that more than nothing. And you, sir, are holding a... Oh. Oh. Here's a star coin. Yeah. Uh, we are leaving now. And we're done with the level. Eh, close enough. Ugh. A bridge opens up, and the next level. So I've still got two more levels and the airship to do. Oh, well, let's get this started. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. I don't care if I took a hit there. And it's still turn off the, uh, the power bomb. Or the power bar bombs. Remember these from Super Mario World? They come down from power shoes, blah blah blah. So yeah, if you keep hitting the fireballs, you'll get star you'll get a star coin. You'll get a bunch of coins. So you can just continue to hit it until it blows up. You can get a maximum of five star coins from it. I mean five coins from it, but after that, it won't spawn any spawn anymore. So yeah, watch out for the bombs along the way. Use fireballs to deflect them off, or just get rid of them entirely. Don't forget to keep your co co uh, coordination at hand as well, because you're using the Wii Remote to uh, turn the vehicle, and you're using the D-pad for Mario, so don't forget that. And, and thankfully there is a checkpoint in this level, which is good, because the second star coin is somewhat hard to get. We'll actually need a bar bomb in order to use it. And thankfully those uh, lava spires are not instant death. The lava itself is though, so we've got to be careful for that. And here's the bob on. What's up? There we go. So yeah, you got to use that bob on much like a uh, Koopa Trooper, or a Koopa Trooper shell rather, and use it to get the item. I mean the uh, coin. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Don't want to go that way. And 
Now the and now for the crows. Don't forget, even when you're oh, okay, I'm thinking of something else again. Don't forget though to keep control of Mario. Don't focus. Don't completely focus on the. Uh, uh, I don't know what to call this thing I'm using. Just don't focus entirely on that though. Focus a bit on Mario as well, because you can still control Mario. At the very least, keep your finger or thumb on the one button on the one button to fire the fireballs if you fire Mario to defend yourself a bit more and, and allow you to focus more on the uh, convey, I suppose. And now we'll just use this to go through the pipe. And we're done with the level! Thankfully that level has a checkpoint in it, so if you miss the star coin you can always die, on purpose that is, and try again and again and again. And considering how easy it is in this game to get 1-ups, you shouldn't have any problem getting a game over. Another underground level! And I suppose after this one I will um, uh, show the secret exit for that other level and then do the last level. This level is a bit like um, that one level in New Super Mario, in New Super Mario Bros. for the DS, where the lava is rising and you obviously have to run away from it. Uh, oh, I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, so keep hold of the propeller suit if you want if you want to get all the star coins. Alternatively, you can always use that spring and get the and get the first one like that. Oh, here it is. Uh, I wonder if I can get them all. Chances are I won't, but it's worth a shot. And there they go. I was like four or five coins short. So yeah, make the most of the propeller suit to get the coins. If you don't have it here, don't worry. You can just make a large jump and we'll jump your way up. And here's the pipe, but well, that doesn't mean we're done with the level yet. That also means there's still lava chasing us. So quickly get this checkpoint flag and run. The third star coin is at the end of the level, so don't worry about it for now. I just focus on um, surviving. Uh, this chain's kind of unreliable. Actually, no, it's not. But swinging, eh, can't say you might accidentally fall. Can make it. Here we go. And one up for me. No, I don't need it. I kind of liked the music in the, in the DS version of New Super Mario Bros. I mean, by which I mean um, jump. Yeah, I liked the um. World, uh, the uh, volcano theme for New Super Mario Bros. the DS. I really like that. Uh, in this game, the music's somewhat more serious, but I don't care about that. Uh oh. Survive, survive, please. Uh oh. Incoming. Huh. If I remember correctly, I think it's um. Okay. Um. I'll explain now. Back in New Super Mario Bros. the DS. Um. You do the usual, you um, complete the levels and then do the castle, or the tower, then the castle. Then you face Dry Bowser as the World 8 uh, regular boss. But after you complete the tower, I mean the castle, you then find out that there's more to the world. So you then have to do more levels and all that. I don't know, I think it's World 8. Four in the in the DS version, where the lava is rising and stuff like that. That level also had a uh, Mario Bros. Um, theme to it in the sense that if you go off the screen from the le from the right, you end up on the left. I apologize if that, if that didn't make any sense to you, but if you played the original Mario Bros., you'll um, you'll know what I'm talking about. You know, you head to the right and then you just you keep running from the uh, to the right screen, and then you end up on the left side of the screen. I think that's as clear as I can get it. Don't care. So yeah, um, watch out for the big ones, especially those spike balls. 
All right, time for that secret level. That, um, secret level. Oh, actually, yeah, my that secret level. Just get myself a couple more coins first. It's surprising. I think I've only died once, if not no times at all so far. And again, I probably jinxed myself just by saying that, but I do not care because I do not care about the LP curse. So many Goombas, so little time. And, yep, here we go. So, uh, yeah, there's this little floor here below me. So, there's an obvious reason for that, because, don't forget, the survivors, hidden uh, areas. And it features these really fast moving uh, wheels. <laughs> 